my name is Nadia Elhan. I'm an author, an educator, and I am a storyteller. Hello, bonjour, marhaba. My name is Nadia Elhan, and oh my goodness, it's Malik. Bonjour tout le monde, c'est moi Nadia Elhan. Je suis l'autrice, la crivain de ce livre ici, Malika Surprise. Aww, that was Malika's dad's dream all along, bringing people together to celebrate. Well, Cottonball, you brought us all here together to read my book, and that's a big dream of mine. Uh. So I think that makes you a queen, too. <gasps> yeah. oh, bringing people together to celebrate. <laughs> well, Cottonball, you brought us all here together to read my book, and that's a big dream of mine. <laughs> so I think that makes you a queen too. Right. Recipes the book. So Nadia, I have a question for you and that question is, how'd you come up with the idea for the anti-racist kitchen? Well, thanks so much. I actually found it a bit easier to wrangle people <laughs> than to <laughs> wrangle cats. <laughs> but um, it was, was a, a labor of love. I, um, I've i been an author, I, I've written other books, and I certainly, um, since the time I started writing my books and then till uh, later on, till 2019, um, I had looked around for some a, a book that celebrated the diversity of the children's book authors that I was beginning to see. Um, the growing diversity, growing number of Black, Indigenous, people of color authors in Kidlet in Canada. And I uh, looked for something that would celebrate um, our, 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 our work. And when I found that I, I couldn't find something like that for Canada, I put that into my, my cap, my, my, um, my idea chest, I guess. Um, I also love food. I've always wanted to write a cookbook. And um, I put that into my idea chest. And then 2020 happened. Um, we were at home, many of us, uh, during the pandemic, the lockdown. And um, a number of events took place in the US, especially in June 2020, with um, George Floyd and uh, a racial justice movement um, grew from that. So I, I knew I wanted to put those two ideas together. And once I had that the, these events were happening around me and in the world, I realized that um, the idea could change. And I started to see something, a book that could come out of those three um, goals, the food, the celebration of diverse voices, and the racial justice. And the anti-racist kitchen was born. I
um, has said they're great to work with. Um, and I asked Sarah. What did you do as a farmer? And what was it like? Was it difficult? Was it hard? Um, and why, if it was difficult, why was it difficult? Beautiful. Yeah, being a, a migrant farm worker, for me... Thank you for coming to the virtual launch of the Anti-Racist Kitchen 21 Stories and Recipes. Here. My name is Malaika, Carnival Queen. And the Anti-Racist Kitchen 21 Stories and Recipes, which I edited. Guess what? I'm taking over the Instagram account of the Canadian Children's Book Center. It will be a full day of surprises, videos, reels. I'm oh. so excited that I'll get to share with you a little bit of behind the scenes of what I do as a- Hello everyone, good evening, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We are gonna be talking about Caribbean immigrant and migrant worker experiences. And that is evident through my most recent book, called Malaika Carnival Queen. This new book is dedicated to my two grandfathers who were both migrant workers, migrant farm workers. Because of that connection, because of the, the sensitive topic, especially around the um, migrant worker experience here in Canada and North America, um, I thought it would be a great idea to invite a guest to a very important and special guest to um, start the conversation or to help us have this conversation. Yeah. I hope you will too learn with us, learn with me as uh, we have these conversations about the, the migrant worker experience. I would like to introduce our guest today and her name is Dr. Yvonne Brown. When uh, I read the story, <coughs> I was struck by some themes that are very Jamaican, one of which is your use of patois throughout. I really like that. <laughs> the other thing that struck me is the importance of dreams. So the other theme that stood out for me was the whole thing of loss, incredible losses. It, I mean, for teachers, this could be a wonderful jump off for discussing traumas and with parents too. Basically following Malaika's journey through carnival. Right. Pretty much. That's and right. And now she's the queen. Mm hmm It's just like top <laughs> status. Yes. yes. I love it. I love it. Uh, language is so important to me and how I, I frame my world and look at it. So it, it would come into the story. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 